Check me out dancing. I'm super excited. Watch full movie. Ungrateful spirit. This is why ungrateful spirit don't understand the blessings of God in prayer. Please do watch from the beginning to the end. God bless you. Do subscribe, like, comment and share. My purse is empty. I only have $5 left with me. And I need to buy my train ticket. Heavenly Father, you supply all my needs today according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. Me too. I only have the last ticket to use today. But, we are children of God. Divine grace is working in our life. We cannot be disadvantaged. We are favor each day. God has the right people to help us today, at the right place and at the right time. What we cannot afford, we get it for free. All things are working together for our good today. Therefore, we are mightily helped by God. Money are coming to us today in abundance. We are rich in Christ Jesus. Never lacking anything. Never wanting. In Jesus' name, Amen. Little angel, you left your teddy bear on the bench. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Your face looks familiar. Did you attend Greenlands High School? Not at all. Thanks again for helping my daughter with her teddy bear. We would have entered the train, only to discover, her teddy bear is not with her. You know children, she will start crying. She love her teddy bear so much. I'm going to the train ticket stand to buy my ticket. Do you mind if I pay for your train ticket? I really want to. No don't bother. I'm grateful anyway. There is no crime favoring a child of God. Not at all. So let's go, get the tickets. My name is Mrs. Myers. Mrs. Fumi. Nice meeting you Mrs. Myers. This is unbelievable. Madam, I will advise you go get a new ticket. For this one has already expired. And you only have five dollars in it. Ooh no. It's not going to be very funny today. I'm so rich with money now. How do I get a new ticket now? I need to be on this train. Where I'm going to is very important. Holy Spirit, help me. Madam, your phone is ringing. Oh thank you sir. Happy birthday big sister. Wishing you all the best in your new age. I saw all the birthday pictures you sent to my DM. With you and the kids. The pics are all so lovely and beautiful. Very sorry I was unable to call you yesterday on your birthday. I was so very busy at work. Anyway, I just sent you your birthday gift, $2,000. Get yourself something you like. Happy birthday again. Oh my God. Thank you so much my sister. God bless you. Big sister, we will talk later in the evening. Bye. Bye. Later. Ticket for me and my friend. Here is your ticket madam. Thanks. Your ticket please. Thanks. I would like to get a ticket please. The train is about to leave the station. Just give me a few minutes. And here you go. Okay it is ready. Here is your ticket. Thank you so much. Heavenly Father, I thank you for using a stranger to favor me today, to get a new train ticket for free. How gracious and kind you are my Lord. I thank you Lord, for meeting me at the point of my need today. Lord Jesus, I worship and adore you forever, for everything you are to me, and everything you do for me. Lord I'm grateful. I'm happy for you. That was a miracle. Of course. And yours is a miracle too. And why are you not excited, worshipping and thanking God for what he did for you, ensuring you get a new train ticket? Don't you know, Mrs. Vicky? When we thank God and be grateful, God will do more for us. Yours is a miracle. A stranger, that is a divine plan by the Holy Spirit. But mine, 
is my sister sending me my birthday gift in cash? That was how I was able to buy my new train ticket. <laughs> you are so funny, Mrs. Vicky. You see, God Almighty have different ways of blessing us and meeting all our needs at different times. You must know and recognize the handwork of God. If not, you will communize the favor of God in your life. Instead of you seeing the power of God and the jury of God, all the devil will want you to see is your ability, your own connection. Then you will act ungrateful. We both declare God's word. We were both expectant for a miracle to get a new train ticket. We wanted God's divine favor. God chose to make that happen for me through a stranger. And God Almighty chose to ensure your sister sent you that money at the right time you needed it. Despite she was very busy, you thought because the money came from your sister, you didn't see it as a miracle. You did not see it as God's divine favor and blessings. Please repent and do the right thing. I never thought that way. Now I know better. I choose to be grateful. God has different way of blessing each and every one of us, His children. Philippians chapter four verse nineteen says, "But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches in glory by Christ Jesus." Dear Father, I thank you for using my sister to bless me. I was able to afford my train ticket today. Lord, I thank you for that supernatural supply of the Spirit for me today. Lord, I maintain a heart of gratitude to Your Word, Your name, and the ministry of the Holy Spirit in my life. All honor and adoration to You, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. You mean our child did so excellent in the quiz competition at school today? This is amazing, babe. This is so wonderful. God Almighty has so much blessed our son with super intelligent. The wisdom in him is more than that of Solomon. Every day he is growing in wisdom, in knowledge, and in the grace of God. Our son is so smart, so bold, and very courageous. And he keeps standing out from other kids and making us proud. He remind me of the wisdom and intelligence that was found in the three Hebrew boys and in Daniel. Daniel chapter one verse four says, "Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom." And cunning in knowledge and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. So God has blessed our son with wisdom and intelligence. I'm so proud of our son. But babe, we were planning to remove him from his school to a cheaper school, for we could not afford their school fees anymore. What are we going to do? It pains me. I can't afford to pay my intelligent boy school fees because my income is very low. Things are getting expensive every day, and his school fees has increased double. Honey, remember what Pastor says: we should prioritize the ministry of Holy Spirit, the ministry of the Word, and the name of Jesus more in our life. When we do this daily, the people of the world will be saying, "There's a casting down," but we will be saying. There is lifting up for us. Who says God cannot give our son a scholarship? Honey, anything is possible. Baby, you're right. Our son can get a scholarship. Let's pray in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray our son received scholarship in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Of course, our daughter is super intelligent, like me, is father. Just kidding. I'm so happy. The best pupil in her class. She has always been the best in each class. Just like me, his father. In school those days, I was the best pupils. Just kidding. But it is true, babe. Anyway, the only problem I have is the increase met in their school fees. I think we should change her to another school. I believe she will still do better. Because this school, their fee is on the high side. And there are many bills to pay. I thought you said your daughter is as intelligent like you. Now you want to remove her from the school because of fees. Let us pray and declare that our daughter we get free scholarship. 
I have always been declaring that since her birth. You are right. Let us pray that our daughter will receive a scholarship. Yes, scholarship for my beautiful and intelligent daughter like me. Just joking. Father in the name of our Lord Jesus, I and my wife agree in prayer. That our daughter will receive scholarship all through her school in Jesus name Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. We have the victory. Mr. Chris congratulations on your new office as the managing director of this branch. Oh my God is this for real. Thank you Jesus for this promotion and new level. Thank you sir for this new office. I promise to perform gravely on my new office. As you know, your office comes with an official car, a house, and other traveling allurance and other benefits. Congratulations Mr. Chris. Thank you sir. I'm so emotional right now. Congratulations, Mr. Chris you deserve the position. Go and celebrate. Thank you sir. Sister Helen let's worship God for what he has done in our children life and in our family. Father I thank you for the benefits of salvation that has brought me so much blessings. Father I thank you for the international school competition which my son won and also got a scholarship. Thank you Lord for answered prayers. Thank you Lord for this miracle and blessings in my home. My son can now continue his school without us removing him from his school. Thank you Lord for being our source. Thank you Lord for this blessings that has opened financial door for us his parents. Lord, I worship and I magnify your name forever. Amen. Congratulations Sister Anne on the scholarship your son received from the governor. Based on his performance at the competition, your son is so intelligent, so bold and very brave, very articulate and intelligent. Why are you not thanking God for what he did for your daughter too? You know how we prayed for our children to have scholarship and not be removed from their school. Sister Anne, your son is very intelligent. I know my daughter is also very intelligent. But your son is super intelligent. So he got a scholarship. But my daughter has not gotten a scholarship yet. I am still praying, I know one day, she will get a scholarship. Sister Helen, you are getting it all wrong. God can bless us in different ways, in meeting all our needs. Yes God used the governor to give my son a scholarship till he is through with his university. Then, see what God did for your daughter, he promoted your husband to a position of a managing director, that he is not qualified for. God, by cut others who are qualified, so your husband can get that position. Now, your husband can pay for your daughter, school fees with easy. Or even decide to take her, to a more expensive school, and also be able to pay all school fees, till she finished university. Is that not scholarship? God Almighty using different ways to bless each and every one of us. As long as you can pay for children's school fees, that's scholarship. That is God's blessing, and He deserves all honor and adoration for all He has done in our lives. My Lord and my King, I worship you. You are great and mighty. You are the God who do wonders. And there is none like you. Father I thank you today for answered prayers, for giving my daughter scholarship, by promoting my husband in his place of work. Wish has changed our life. Thank you Father, for giving me all things through Christ Jesus. Glorious and righteous are you Lord. You are the Alpha and Omega. You are holy, pure and true. You are the author and the perfectector of all things. Thank you Lord for this amazing blessings in my family. I love you Lord. Glory, hallelujah. I'm in so much pain ma. The doctor said, as a result of the accident. My neck got fracture. And paralyzed my legs. I have lost feeling in my hands and legs. The extreme pain, fear, is so scary to me. Due to the severity of the injury to my spinal cord. I might never walk again. E -e 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 -e. Young lady, John 10 verse 10 says, The thief cometh not, 
but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. Jesus has come for you to have life. Therefore, fear not. Whose report should we believe? The report of the Lord or the report of the doctor? We don't observe lying vanities. For Jesus can make you whole again. If only you will believe. I believe. Come this Saturday, our church is having a crusade. And I will like you to come for this program. I know, you will be healed. You will walk again. Because Jesus will heal you. And make your body whole. Jesus told us, to go into the world and heal the sick, in his name. At the crusade, as the pastor pray for the sick. Your spinal cord will be healed. I believe God will heal me. I will tell my parents to take me to the crusade ground. Congratulations in advance. Good afternoon Mr. Paul, the crusade is this Saturday. Please do invite your friends for the program. No one missing the crusade. I love your passion Sister Rose. You are so zealous for the Lord. Persuading men to Christ. You have invited all my business partner. And they all love your zeal for God they all said, they will definitely be at the crusade. I can see the zeal for the Lord house has consumed you. May God Almighty bless you abundantly for all you do in the house of God. Amen. Glory. To God. I'm going to hire a bus, that will take some of my souls to the venue, who will not like to drive or those who might give excuses because of transportation to the venue of the crusade. The bus will take them to and fro. This is my life. Serving the Lord as a single lady. May God Almighty bless you for all the good work you are doing in the kingdom. Sir, this is our life. We need to save many before the rapture happens. You are right. The crusade was a huge success. Lots of miracle. Many souls were won, into the kingdom of God. I'm so grateful to God, for the young lady I invited from the hospital, who was able to come, and God heal her spinal cord. Now she can walk. You can see the joy, the smile on her face, when she got up from the wheelchair, as she took each step walking. Tears ran down my check, with my hands lifted up, praising and worshipping God, who want all men saved and who wants the sick heal of their infirmities. Sister Rose, doing the work of God is so glorious. Seeing those, you invited to the crusade, gives their life to God. I thank you Father, for making us soul winners in your kingdom. Turning men from the power of darkness, unto light. Thank you Heavenly Father, for using us. To win souls into the kingdom. Thank you Father, for this passion, this zeal in us. To be radical soul winners till the rapture of the church. Amen. May the name of the Lord be praised. The zeal of the Lord house has consumed us. I thank God, I was able to hire buses, to bring many to attend the crusade. My heart was so full of joy. Amara, I was thinking, I think is high time, we ask God to bless us with a car. So it can be easy for us to check on our souls, time to time following them up. Until they are established, doing the work of the ministry. That's true. We need a car, evangelism made easy. Let's pray, and ask God for a car. For anyone who asked. Received. Father, today we ask that, you bless us with a car, we receive this car now. In Jesus name. Amen. Our church staff and pastors has been so amazing. You can see their love for God is so great, so much they have given themselves for the work of the ministry. My prayer for them every day, that they will stand firm in Christ till the day of rapture. They will grow in wisdom and in the knowledge of our God. Increasing in the fruit of righteousness, health, strength and in prosperity. Amen. With them, the kingdom of God has expanded and so many has come into the kingdom. All glory and praise to you God Almighty, who has given the ministry. 
helpers for the work. Men and women who are zealous for you. Amen. I just felt in my spirit the by Sister Amara car. Glory. That's wonderful. I sent her to the next town for missionary work in the hospitals. To give them aid, ministry material, and free medical treatment to the poor people in those community. I want, when she arrived, the car should be bought and be ready to be presented to her. She will be so surprised and full of joy. Sister Rose, I sent for you, because I was praying five days ago, and the Spirit of God lay in my heart to give you a car. Here is the car key for the new pink car. Pack outside. The car is yours. Thank you for all you do for God. Oh my God, thank you sir for this amazing, lovely gift. God bless you sir in abundance. This is huge. A prayer answered. Thank you sir. You are welcome. All glory to God who gave me the ability to do this. Come, let me take you to your car. All glory to you Lord. I'm now a car owner. Sister Rose phone is ringing, why is she not picking her calls? I need to tell her the good news. I need to share this testimony with her. I'm super excited. I'm so full of joy. How God answer my prayer for a new car. I know God will also do this for Sister Rose too. I know what to do. I will send her a message to join me at the restaurant. I will be waiting for her at the restaurant. She might be busy with soul winning activities now. So we can celebrate at the restaurant. Father you are great, see how you surprised me. Blessing me with a brand new car. This classic expensive car. No wonder your word says, in Matthew 6 verse 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Lord, you have blessed me today, from an expected source, you added this car into my life. Father I'm grateful. Woo hoo. Amara phone is not going. He dropped a message for me to meet with her at the restaurant. We will have to celebrate my new car, she will be so happy for me. I know God will give her a car too. I was waiting for you, to share my testimony with you. Not knowing God has done yours too. Father we are grateful. Thank you Lord, for answering our prayers. And for blessing us with a car each. More work we will do in the kingdom. You are our source, our ability, all glory, honor and adoration to the one who sit upon the throne. Amen. Congratulations to you Sister Amara. What? Sister Rose you are not happy. Why did your countenance change? What is the matter? I'm not happy Sister Rose, why will Pastor buy only you a car? He has been partial. This is not fair, not right. You just reminded me of Peter, when he asked Jesus, about John. And Jesus gave him this reply. In John chapter 21 verse 23, Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that that disciple should not die, yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die. But, if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? So you are to tell pastor, who to bless and who not to bless. Jesus said, Woo to them who are offended because of me. Sister Rose don't be offended, because pastor gave me a car. God used Pastor to bless me with a car, and he used Brother Paul to bless F you with a car. Yet, you did not see what God did for us, but you are angry because it is Pastor, who blessed me with a car. So he must bless you too. I remember when Pastor gave Brother Mike a car, he did not give any one of us a car. That was Brother Mike time. But thank God, God decided to bless it both of us at the same time from Pastor and from Brother Paul. And you even got an expensive car, because Brother Paul can afford it. You should be grateful, and not be bitter and angry. This is how many people, get offended in church, get angry, bitter and jealous. They will walk out of the church. 
the devil succeeded in destroying them. So they can no longer do the work of the ministry. I'm very sorry is Sister Amara. That was very wrong of me. I thought it was my right, if pastor bless you. Then he must bless me too. Not knowing God can use anyone to bless us. I reject this negative attitude from heart. Father, I'm grateful for what you did for us. Understanding, you can use anyone to bless us, uplift us and to promote us. Psalm 75 verse 6 to 7 says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge, he putteth down one, and setteth up another. The blessings of God are yeah and amen. <laughs> Waiter, we need you here on this table. Sister Rose. Katya, prayer works. I remember, how, we have prayed several times, for our heart desire to study at the university. Your desire is to be a medical doctor. And I want to be a pharmacist. God has done it for me. My fiancé wants to sponsor all my university fees. This is a sign THSD God will do yours. Amen. Congratulations Emily. I'm so happy for you. I remember, how life was difficult for your fiancé. But God has restored all his wasted years. Amen. <coughs> this call for a celebration. One year later. Babe, I want you to apply for admission at the university to become a medical doctor. I know it's your dream to become a doctor. Since, your parents could not afford to pay your tuition fees. It will be a lovely thing, if I your future husband, can pay for it. Since I don't have the time to study at the university. Because of the tight schedule of my job. My future wife will become a doctor. Giving treatment to sick patients. Bringing honor to God and to our family. Honey I want to scream, but I can't because we can't afford to pay the university fees. Let's forget about it. My time has passed. Let's focus on our future, and save for our marriage. Babe, I have prayed about it, and God said he will help us. He's our shepherd. I'm going to work hard. And I know everything will be done for us by the power of God. You really want to make my dream come through for me. God's going to work everything out for us. Don't worry. Only trust in him. The author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. What do you think? You are doing my brother. How can you send your fiance to study at the university, to become more educated than you? What if she leaves you, to marry an educated doctor? It will be devastated for you. All your time and money will be wasted. Women cannot be trusted. What if she turn into something else? Once you get into the university, who gave you such foolish advice to embark upon? Oh, I know, she pushed you into this. Yes, she did. My fiancé never did, I came up with the idea. So she can become a doctor. Remember, Mama died because there is no good doctor in this community. Imagine if we have her as a doctor in our community. With a good hospital. Many sick people will be well treated. And as a Christian doctor, she will also pray for them to be healed. Your plan is good, I pray she will not betray your love. She will not brother. She is a wonderful Christian. Hi I'm Nana. I saw you today in the year one medical class. Can we be friends? I saw you too at the class. We can be friends. My name is Katya. And it feels so wonderful studying at the university. Yeah, you can say that again. My fiancé is willing to foot all bills and pay for my accommodation. He's so happy to do it. It is his responsibility. And I'm going to enjoy myself in the university. I live in the hostel. That's what my fiancé can afford. He doesn't have much like your fiancé. I'm happy he's doing this for me. In the university, you don't settle for anything less. You can't be living in the hostel. You have to get your own apartment. You go through the university, and the university go through you. 
Tell him, you need money for one medical experiment. He will look for the money and send the money to you. Okay, I will call him, I need money for medical experiment. I was asked to bring this amount of money. I know, he will look for the money for me. With the money, I can pay for a new apartment for myself. Now you are talking. Babe, it's so good to hear your voice. Hope you are enjoying yourself in the university. Yeah. It has been wonderful. Honey, I need $3,000 for medical experiment. I need this money urgently. How are we going to get the money? Wow! $3,000. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I don't have that kind of money now. Lord, you are our helper. Let me think, how do I raise this $3,000 now? Okay, I know what to do, I will have to sell my land. God will provide for us more money, to buy another land, when the time comes, we will build the hospital. I will reach out to Mr. Williams, who buy lands often, I will sell the land to him. So I can send you the money as soon as possible. You want to sell your land? We have to do this, it will not be easy. But, God will see us through. Thank you my love. We will talk later. I need to see Mr. Williams now. Bye. You want to sell your land? For a woman? Who you have not yet married to? Did she use charm on you? I can't believe my eyes, my smart brother has become a victim of a woman. This is unbelievable. This is foolish. She just started studying in the university, she is demanding for $3,000. After all the money you have spent, what will happen after year one? My brother, hope you know what you are doing. You better shine your eyes. My brother, I have to do this. Everything about medicine, is all about money. If she compromised, it shows brother, she's not a mature Christian living her life by God's word. It will be painful. But God Almighty will favor and bless me double. Cause, I can't be disadvantaged by a woman. Are you really sure? <laughs> May God Almighty reward your good heart, that is filled with God's love towards others. I pray God Almighty reward you in abundance. You will never lack anything my brother, even as God is using you, so she becomes a medical doctor. I pray God Almighty will expand your shipping business into a company. And I pray for your fiancé, that God keep her from wrong friends in the university. And keep her fire burning for God in the university. In Jesus' name, Amen. University is filled with so much fun. I am really enjoying myself. Very soon, I will have my own room. Let me pray to my God. Father I thank you for making it possible for my fiancé to pay for my tuition fees. I'm so happy, I will have my own room soon. And I will keep enjoy myself. Emily I will be moving out from the hostel soon. To get a new apartment. Wow. Katya, how were you able to get the money for a new apartment? I need to hear the testimony. <laughs> my fiancé is going to sell his land. What? For an apartment. What is wrong with your room in the hostel? My friend Nana, told me, I need to enjoy myself. In the university. I will never live this life again, after, I graduate. And I saw it was true. Look at you, you have a nice place for yourself. God has bless you. I need to have my own place too. Really. Let me remind you, probably, you have forgotten my journey of life. How my uncle made life hard on me. He told me, he cannot pay for my university tuition fees, I should forget about be a pharmacist. He can only afford to pay for his children tuition fees. Your parents could not also pay yours. We prayed always for a miracle. Until we both had a fiancé. My fiancé lost his job, and life was difficult for him. My uncle throw me out. I have nowhere to live, the little money my fiancé saved, he was able to pay for a bed space, for me in a house hostel, he could not afford a room. I was the happiest person. 
I was so grateful for what I have received. When my fiancé first got a mean job in the next town, I didn't demand for money to get a room. I aimed her and enjoy the challenges in that hostel. Because, I am grateful for what he is doing for me. It's not my right. This is why even in some marriage, some married women, push their husbands to give them a life, he cannot afford at that moment, because those wife feel, it is their husband responsibility to do so. Causing their husband to do the wrong things, just to give them the money they want, and if a comfort, their husband can't afford. If their friends has a new car, their husbands also must get them a new car. What a life! The Bible says, do not be equally yoked with an unbeliever. Nana, can't be your friend. She will only lead you astray. Your fiancé is ensuring, he saved to pay for all your tuition fees, your personal upkeep, and other expenses. Instead of you to be grateful, and be contented with what you have. You want him to sell his only land. The same land, he wants to build an hospital for you. Can't you see how the devil wants to destroy your life and relationship? Don't compare yourself with me or anyone. Be grateful to God, how he's blessing you all the way. And tomorrow can only be greater. Thank you Emily for be a wonderful Christian sister to me. No wonder, the Bible says, in Proverbs 27 verse 17 Iron sharpeneth iron. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. You have sharpened me today, to see what God is doing in my life. How he has blessed me. And for me to have a grateful heart, thanking God each day for his blessings. For the blessings of God are new every morning. My Lord great is your faithfulness. Your steadfast love in my life never cease. I worship you monarch of the universe. The one who sit upon the throne. Jesus you are my Lord. Emily, I will call my fiancé not to sell the land again. And I will appreciate him, for all God has used him to accomplish in my life. Thank you Emily. You are welcome Katya. Relax the best life belong to us. You will see what God will do in our life and through us. Yeah. Glory to God. Watch out world, we are coming. <laughs> Some years later. Sir, please sit up. I brought food for you. You need to eat something. Thanks son for always bringing food for me to eat. If not I would have long been dead. Sir, my mom said you have a family, why did they left you all only in this cage? Why are they not taking care of you? <coughs> my son, I was very wicked and selfish. I'm only suffering due to my wickedness, and I deserve it. I was once rich. My only sister was sick, I refused to help her, I refused to take her to the hospital for treatment. One day, she passed away. I took her only child in to live with me. And I treated her like my maid. I made life hard for her. But today son, she is a graduate and a pharmacist. I know she will never forgive me. How are you talking about the pharmacist who has that big pharmacy shop at the complex? where I bought drugs for you. Because my mom said, you both are related. Yes. I don't think she's like, who you think she is. She is so lovely and kind. Maybe to you. Not after everything I have done to her, and to her mother. Who will forgive a wicked man like me? What about your wife and kids? My wife could not take my lose life outside, and how I often beat her. One day, I came home back from the club. She was gone with my money and my three children, far away to another country. I was also owing everywhere, I could not pay back, all my assets was taken from me. No job. No friends. No money. I became, miserable, sad and depressed. The only home I could find is here in this cage. Often I beg to eat. But now, I'm too weak and sickly to come out beg for money. So sad. How your life ended up. No wonder my mom and my dad always says, it's good, to always do good to others, and to follow Jesus. 
Sir, how you all right? Emily, you forgave me. You saved my life. After all the evil I did to you and your mom. Thank you. E -e 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 -e. Uncle, I have looked for you everywhere. Nobody knows your whereabout. You were lost, now you were found. I will take proper care of you. You are the father I don't have. Yes, you were evil to me, because you don't have Christ Jesus in you. But you never left me on the street, you gave me food to eat, even though it was little. And you put me in school, though you were not able to pay for my university fees. God Almighty blessed my fiancé, and I was able to graduate as a pharmacist. Now, I can take proper care of you. You will leave with me in my house. Thank you uncle for all you did for me. I'm grateful. Thank you my child for loving me. Now my heart is filled with joy. I will serve Jesus with all my heart. I love you my child. I love you my father. Kati, good to see you today. Thank you for taking proper care of my uncle. He looks so strong and healthy now. Emily, we thank God. He responds so fast to treatment. You will just know it is the mercy of God upon his life. God shown him mercy. We thank God for the little boy, who saw him and they rush him to you. And you brought him to the hospital. By weekend he should be discharged. You can take him home. God is great. See how we turn out. A pharmacist and a medical doctor. And your hospital looks amazing. Heavenly Father we are grateful. We are grateful to God for the wonderful husband he blessed us with. And the beautiful children he has added to our lovely marriage. We are grateful to God for making us a blessing. How great is our God, check me out dancing. I'm super excited. I got the moves. Jennifer the intelligent girl. I just love praising myself. I'm too good. I'm too smart. The girl with the brain. It feels good to be an intelligent student. I'm so proud of myself. Whenever I see my scores. I always have goosebumps. I will definitely come out the best student, graduating with first class. Jennifer is not by might nor by power. Yes, been diligent in our study is very good. And it has been proven to stand us out among other students. But we must recognize it is the grace of God and the ability of God at work in our life. This has set us apart for excellent. Instead of you be proud of your own intelligence. Be grateful to God who made all things possible. I see nothing wrong in celebrating myself. Afterwards I'm better than Betty and Joyce. That's why I don't relate with them that much. I don't see any chance in them. Been successful and influential people in the society. Really, you don't see any chance in them be successful people in our society. Jennifer how you the devil, who destroy people future. God can decide to make Betty a president and Joyce in a vice president. And there is nothing you can do about it. That you are intelligent does not make you better than others. Success is not measured by your brain. But the investment of your personality on others. What is your impact in the life of others? So drop the pride. And we will keep leaning on God to help us through school. To be the best student and to have first class. Amen to that. Thinking on something. What's it? I want to have my own company. Me too. It has always been my dream to have my own tech company. I like that. Mine is to have a fabric and textile company. Manufacturing and producing the best fabric materials, cotton fabric, fiber fabric, vacuna wool, baby cashmere, cervelt fabric, silk from mulberry. For top fashion companies and also exporting around the world. Amazing. Anything is possible with God. Yeah.
Betty, can you move to the next sit? Why? Afterwards. Deborah is not in school today. This is my best friend chair. So choo choo away. I don't want you sitting close to me. I only relate with the best. Really. Now you only relate with the best. At the fabric production project, you needed me to join your team. And we did excellently well in our project. Now you don't need me sitting close to you. Not even a thank you, from you, knowing fully well I did everything. What make you feel you better than any one of us? Jennifer, pride goes before a fall. Don't be too confident in your own abilities. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 to 19. Whatever. Three years later. I'm so grateful to God for all my school years. It was a huge success. Today I'm a graduate. Me too. My heart is filled with gratitude to God for the knowledge we gained through school. And we thank God for blessing our parents financially to pay all our tuition fees. The school journey was a smooth ride with the Holy Ghost. We also made so much impact in school and in the university. Preaching the Gospel And we won many to Christ. We are the light of the world. Today is a special day for Fieldstone University and all our graduating students. It is an honor to invite one of our best graduating students this year, 2024, to give her valedictory speech. No other than Deborah Robert. My heart is filled with joy and gratitude to God Almighty and for all my school days, making me one of the best graduating student with first class. I give God all the glory, honor and adoration. And thanks to my Lord Jesus Christ, who made this happen for me. Today, with great honor and prestige, I stand before you all. And on behalf of all graduating class of 2024, I give this valediatory speech. I'm full of gratitude to God, to my parents, to my teachers, to my lecturers, to my professor and my fellow graduating class of 2024. Thank you. With deep appreciation and overwhelming pride, I stand, with a huge eulogy, to address you all today, on the occasion of our esteemed university's 27th convocation. My intention today, is to recount my individual journey of excellence, and to narrate a story of my personal development, ensuring I'm one of the best graduating class student with first class. Thanks to my determination, my focus and discipline to attain sure a prestigious goal. First class. Kudos to myself highly esteemed Jennifer Freeman. Did you see them all whispering, they could not cheer me or even clap? I bet they are all jealous of my success. Jennifer, you are too full of yourself. You feel, you are better than others. That attitude is not godly. God Almighty wants us to be humble. No matter our achievement in life. What do you expect from them, when they could see and hear the pride in your speech? Learn to be humble. Learn to be grateful. These virtue is greater than first class. And you will need it, to stay on top, in your world of business. Whatever. All I know, I have achieved my first class, and is on record. My concern now, is how to go about my fabric company. I have been praying about it. But I don't know how to start. I don't even know what to do, how to go about it, and how to achieve it. Deborah, I'm so worried. I also have taken out time, praying and fasting concerning my tech company. The Spirit of God lay in my heart to talk with Danielle and Dixon to work with me. You know both of them are guru in the tech world. Both of them are super excited to work with me as partners. We have been happening series of meeting, praying and planning together. And as partners, and with the help of the Holy Spirit, we will make my tech company a reality. So far, with the plan, we have now. Three years from now we will be skyrocketing. As for me, I will never have a partner. 
I know nothing is wrong having a partner. I just want to rule alone. Deborah, you got to help me. What am I going to do? Why not talk with Betty and Joyce? Those two girls are good. You know with them your fabric company is a reality. You are right. They are good in what they do. But I can't make them my partner. Also will they like to work for me? I was never nice to them. That depends on them if they agree to work for you. Now, you see why it is good to be nice and be thankful. Your first class can't give you these girls. You know what they got. Your fabric company will be top notch. Pray they accept your offer, before another company employ both of them. They will agree. They are both lovely Christian. <laughs> Very funny Jennifer. Now you know they are lovely Christian. Are you not a Christian? Why don't you want to be lovely too? Because you don't want to live by God's word. Whatever. Two years later. Joyce, why is my cup of coffee not on my desk? As I arrived in the office. And my office desk is not properly well organized. You know how I do my things, and how I want my things to be done. So tell me Joyce, what kind of staff of a girl did you employ? That's not competent I want her sack immediately. Sorry about the coffee not on your desk as you arrived in the office. I don't think, Clarissa, should be sack. You called me this morning to go deliver the silk mulberry fabric to see med company. And I sent Clarissa to go get the magazines. Oh that. Where is Betty? Get her for me immediately. I don't know why I employ such an incompetent staff like you. A little business deal with ketchup company. You could not close. You could not ensure all the companies we invited all show up for the party sales. You see, all the fabrics were not sold. Betty, what am I paying you for? If you can't do your job rightly. I'm very disappointed. When I do things, I get 100% results. I work hard diligently and got myself a company. Exporting around the world. Jennifer, I expect you to come this morning, with gratitude in your heart, thanking all the staff for a successful sales party, you are here this morning, acting ungrateful. These workers have been working tirelessly, ensuring the fabrics were produced. They got everything ready for the sales party. And we were amazed at the turnout, of some of the companies, we invited and sales we achieved. Not even a thank you to anyone. You are ungrateful. I and Joyce built this company to where it's now. You know nothing about the business. When you come to the office, you make life unbearable for the staff. Because you feel you are important. They are nothing. From this moment I quit. If you want me. I will have to have 10% share in the company. I don't care if you quit. I can run my company myself. And I will outdo all your past achievement. Bye. You did not apologize to Betty? Why did you let her go? I don't need her. I can run my company myself, and you will not tell me what to do. I heard all you said. I also know you are the CEO of Rare Fabric Company. My company Ketchup will only finalize this business deal with Betty. I am only going to strike a good deal with Betty. With her, everyone is happy. I love her goods, her service, and every fabric she delivered to my company are excellent. This particular large quantity I'm exporting, I'm signing this business contract with Betty. No Betty. No business deal. Then I will move to another fabric company. Sir Betty is busy. I bet she will meet with you next week. I came to close the business deal. So we can start producing. Miss Jennifer. I have told you before, if I have to close this deal, I it has to be Betty. I believe in her service. I know she will deliver to me exactly what I want. If not her, I'm closing no deal. I own the company. 
I will give you the best. I taught Betty everything. Therefore you can trust me, cause I will ensure all the fabrics are produced excellently. I know, but I want Betty, good day ma. Miss Jennifer, I like your staff Betty. If you don't want her again, I will be glad to employ her. Maybe make her a partner in my company. I know what she is made of. And I can see you don't deserve such a good amazing staff. What? Look at you filled with pride, you want me to do business with you. I do business with your company because of Betty. Is like what Laban said to Jacob, in Genesis 30 verse 27 And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thine eyes, tarry, for I have learned by experience that the Lord hath blessed me for thy sake. I don't need anyone to tell me God has blessed you because of Betty. If you will not appreciate her, me and many other company will gladly want her as a partner. Can you imagine, everyone want to close a deal with Betty only? They don't even see me as the CEO this is unfair. I can't go down. I can't lose to my competitors. I really need to look for that competent staff to employ. Who will pull this through for me? You are still full of yourself Miss Jennifer, you have not learned the value of others. I quit too. I and Betty, allowed you to have your way in this company. But you felt, the company is just for you, if you want me and Betty to come back, then the 100% share will be split between the three of us. 40% for you, 30% for Betty, and 30% for me. If not both of us, we'll gladly start our own fabric company. And the companies will be super excited to buy from us. You are ungrateful to God. You feel your ability and you intelligent has made you a success. Repent. Bye Miss Jennifer. I don't need you both. I can do this myself. I will. Bye. Few days later. I'm in a serious mess Deborah. Betty and Joyce quit the company. Both of them want us to run the company together as co-owners. Me 40%. Betty 30% and Joyce 30%. My competitors also want them too. I have not been making any huge sales. I was arrogant, to the custom officer. My new production equipment, beam shipped to me is seized. It seems everything is going down. Deborah help me what am I going to do? Jennifer, the Bible says, in Luke 12 verse 19 to 21. And I will say to my soul, Thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, then whose shall those things be, which thou hast provided? So is he that lieth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. Jennifer, you brag as if everything is about you, your own strength, your own ability and accomplished. You see others worthless. You feel as your strength, that gave you wealth. Now with pride in your heart, you act as if you don't need God. You don't need Betty and Joyce. Treating your staff like shit. I know better now, I can't lose them. God bless me because of them. Father I thank you for my life. I thank you for all my school days. I thank you Lord for making me an intelligent student and for having first class. I thank you for causing my dream to have a fabric of fabric reality. I thank you Lord for giving me two wonder partners, Betty and Joyce in making my dream comes through. I thank you Father for all my staff. I praise and adore you Lord, forever and forever Amen. Hallelujah. If this story has blessed you, do subscribe now. Like comment and share. Let's grow together as a family. All stories written by Anne. Hi my name is Anne. I believe you were inspired and blessed by this video. Please subscribe, like, comment and share this video so we can reach more people. Kindly watch the next video. God bless you. Are you born again? 
Are you ready to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord? Do you know Jesus? Do you want to rededicate your life to God? Do you want to experience peace in your life? You too can begin a new life with Jesus Christ today. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. Oh, Lord God, I'll believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe he died for me and God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us through the comments section. See you in my next video. Bye.